previously on the journey. You're serious about going pro, you're going to have to make football your life, you know. There he is, only 17 and already achieved what most players never will. I'm ready, come on! I just love playing football. <laughs> That's all I know how to do. Good luck on the new season. Cheers. Images emerging this morning of Hunter wearing a Real Madrid shirt. That is not what happened. We've been had. Michael! You gambled my career just to get back to the big time. It's not like that. What's Alex? it like then? Alex, this could be good for you. You could set MLS alight. It's a chance for a new beginning, son. Hey, man. Welcome to LA. It's like a different world out here. I've seen that the footage like on time. the TV. <laughs> A-listers. Glad you came. Man, thanks for having me. Swap shirts after the game? I will see what I can do. You've been playing out of your mind, man. Just keep up the good work. Don't be getting too dazzled by those Hollywood lights, all right? Dad? Tell me this is my sister. Didn't know you played. Yeah, it's in the blood. All I'm doing is fighting every inch of the way to play the game I love. Well, 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 look who's back from La La Land. Everyone's watching me, waiting for me to be the next Alex Hunter. <laughs> it's time to stop trying to make everybody laugh. It's time to start earning some respect. Apparently some of the big guns in Europe have been sniffing around you. Atletico, PSG, buy it. Alex, this is Beatrice Villanova. I'd like to talk to you about your future as a player, as a person, as an icon. Have a good match. I will. Goal's been hard to come by, eh, Jimmy boy? No other than the first 99. Don't be thinking you'll be getting it now, my son. And the corner's floated in. Oh, it's there! Jim Hunter equalises with his 100th career goal. And what a beauty it was. Left foot volley. Caught sweet as a nut. That's one he won't forget in a hurry. Nice pass. Now then, can he finish it off? Oh, he has a go. Oh, it's in. And no more obvious scorer than Hunter. It's his day. Two goals now by Hunter. And a career total of 101. Oh, yes. When you see that again, you realise how well taken it is. Yes, he's finished it. It's a goal. This is still dangerous, he's punched them. And that's what they've come to see, a brilliant finish. Oh, they've made room for it here. And yes, it's a goal. There wasn't really anything the defence could do as we watched that again. Oh, clever ball there. Now Wilson. Oh, that's a good clearance. Now Evans. 
no doubt about that foul. Oh, well done the goalkeeper, what a good save. Well, that looks to me like a corner. And he swung that right in. Now Lewis, excellent block there. Now Brown. Oh, Newcastle, look. Oh, he's had a go here. And no chance of a rebound there. Yes, they've got possession now with space on the wing. And he's taken the ball away from it. Here's Davis. Yes, he's finished it. It's a goal. With Lewis. Well, there's the final whistle. Disappointing result for Coventry, especially considering how well they played over the first 50 or 60 minutes. But this game will be remembered for Jim Hunter's 100th career goal. What a way to mark the milestone with a cracker of a volley. Thanks for joining us here. We hope to see you again next time. I can't believe they played football on the telly back in the Stone Ages. Man, I'll tell you what. Granddad was a proper player. Can't even get a rise out of you. You're all business as usual. Of course, back then, we didn't have all the fuss you lot get these days, you know. We played for 150 quid a week if we won. Come on, really? Uh, to us, it was all about just playing a game. <laughs> hey, look at that. Sweet as a nut, eh? <laughs> Not easy keeping a shot like that on target. <laughs> Should we get going? Hello, traffic. Okay. Here, uh, let me help you with a bag. Oh, no, 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 Jim, don't you worry about that. You stay there. Um, I've got the bags. You want to take it? I gave it to you. Borrow it then. Share the luck. Just give it back when you finish, though. All right. Great! We gotta catch this plane. I cannot miss it, or Butler will have my head. I can't believe you gave me time off for training as it is. <laughs> Mate, I cannot believe I that. Know, mad, isn't it? <laughs> Last time I drove to LAX, we were going to Japan. You what? You what? <laughs> I'm from England. <laughs> it's English. You're the one with the accent. <laughs> <laughs> Your training up until now should give you the confidence to move forward with your full potential. The women here are the ones we want to take all the way to France. But to get there, you have to earn it. Every day. Butterflies, right? I hate them.
to go to work, I guess. Just try to enjoy it. Everything else will come. Warm up a bit? Yeah, sure. You made a heck of an impression against Germany. I know we didn't win, but you changed the game when you came on. Yeah, but this isn't a friendly, is it? And I'm like the youngest one here. Are you trying to make me feel old? No. You ready, Hunter? Chomping at the bit, coach. All right, well, show me. Ladies, line up at the cones, passing patterns. So, who wants to train today? Don't answer that. Get moving. I gotta say, Kim, you were on another level today. Great to see. What's worse than being late for training? Slipping on a wet floor and ending your season. Michael! Why are you late, anyway? Well, I just came from a meeting with Roger about investment opportunities and, you know, you've got to speculate to accumulate and all that and everything. Right. What are you doing here? Well, I had some meetings of my own. About my number one client. <laughs> your only client, you mean. But you saved the best to last, didn't you? That's what you did. All right, so what is it? Because I've got to get to training, or really have. Butler's going to kill me if I'm late. Danny, I, I know last season wasn't quite how we planned it. Doesn't mean to say you're not a good player. Just, well, it takes time to work. What are you trying to say, Michael? Truth is, the club's in two minds about you. No, 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 they can't be. This is going to be my season. I'm going to lead this team to glory. That's the spirit. Starting with pre-season, am I right? I go and show this club you're indispensable. And remember, you're my number one client. Danny? Yeah, what? Training? Oh! Butler's going to have my head. I'll find another job. All right, lads, time to work. Good session, lads. Easy money will show the contract. It'll be in your bank. Straight into your bank. I'm telling you, pal, you'll see your profits double in a month. Two tops. You're right, mate. So? Have we got a deal? Sweet! Uh, sweet, yeah. Uh, I'll swing by with the paperwork to Salvo. Yeah, all right, Sam. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye. You, my friend, are the new face of Macmillan's Fish and Chip Shops. Ah, I've sorted you. All the fish and chips you can eat. 28 locations across England. Just call me the Don of Deals. <laughs> you mean McMillan's? Yeah. McMillan's Fish and Chip Shop. Millie's, yeah. like the place we used to eat every day. Yeah. Millie's! The very same. That is awesome! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they're giving you a choice between a radio commercial and a photo shoot for ads in print. Like, uh, you know how it is. Uh, which will it be? Oh, you've got it. That's what I've always said. Mate, get me in front of that camera. 
Right. Ah, <laughs> nice one. Hey, Adidas is next up. I'm telling you. Build up your reputation, few trophies, few more man of the matches, and the Williams will be a household name. <laughs> maybe that's Daddy Dash now. <laughs> yeah, maybe it is. <laughs> Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling. Oh, look, it's Roger the Dodger, business manager extraordinaire. It's Ringo, pal. Oh. oh, yeah, my mistake, of course. Nobody has ever called you Ringo. You can't just make up your own nickname. It doesn't work like that. You what? It's what all the lads called me at school. When? When I was playing the drums? Hello? It's from... You played the triangle once in the school orchestra and you got that wrong. No, oh, it was twice. So how is business? <laughs> Actually, very good, Michael. Roger here uh, has just got me Ringo. a brand new endorsement. Macmillan's Fish and Chips. We used to eat that all the time back in the day, didn't we, Roger? Yeah, we did. Ringo. Yeah, well, speaking of deals, I just got a meeting in the diary about your contract extension. Day of the last pre-season game. Right. So, play out your skin in the Far East and we could be in business. Uh, no pressure, eh, Paul? Your future depends on this, Danny. Won't be the same around here without Dino. Mm.